Welcome to Electron Line. In this next video, we have to divide the trinomial by the binomial x plus 2. Now, this can actually be done in two ways. First, we'll do longhand division, and then we'll do factoring, the technique of factoring to accomplish the very same thing. So you can see the similarity between the two techniques and how they can both end up with the same result. So first, what we'll do here is write it as follows. x plus 2 will be divided into the polynomial 2x cubed minus x squared minus 10x. Notice there's no terms missing except for the last term over there and we'll take care of that later. So simply you can think of it as maybe plus zero here. So x goes into 2x cubed how many times? With other words, what number must we multiply times x to get 2x cubed? And the answer is 2x squared because 2x squared times x gives us 2x cubed. And we also must multiply the 2x squared times the 2 to give us plus 4x squared. Now we subtract this from what's above there. So this subtractor from that gives us 0. And this subtractor from that, that gives us minus 4x squared plus a minus x squared or a minus 5x squared. So now we drop down the next term, minus 10x. And again, what number must we multiply times x to get minus 5x squared? Well, that would be minus 5x, because minus 5x times x gives us minus 5x squared, and then minus 5x times 2 gives us a minus 10x. When we subtract this from what's right above that, subtract this from that, it gives us 0. Subtract this from that, it gives us 0, which means 0 remainder, because when I drop down the next number, which is also plus 0, we have a 0 remainder, which means that this is the result of our division. We can then say that this can be written as 2x cubed minus 5x, or if you want to factor out a common factor, you can say this can also be written as x times 2x minus 5. So how else can we do this problem? Well, we can do that by factoring the numerator and then dividing or simplifying if there's a common factor. All right, let's take the numerator. 2x cubed minus x squared minus 10x and first we can see that you can factor out a common factor x and we'll do that first. That leaves us with 2x squared minus x minus 10. Now the question is we have this trinomial here can we factor that trinomial and the answer is yes. It's a little bit more difficult because we have a 2 in front of the x squared term but nevertheless, what we could do is we could write this as x times and write the first term, write the last term, and then we're going to take the middle term and divide it up into two terms. How do we do that? Well, we're looking for two coefficients to place in front of the x. We're going to put an x there and an x there. We're looking for two coefficients in such a way that the product of the two is equal to the product of the two times negative 10 which means 2 times negative 10 is equal to minus 20. So we're looking for two numbers to place here. When I multiply them together, I get negative 20. And the sum of the two should add up to negative 1. So which two numbers can I multiply together? I get 20, and when I add them, I get negative 1. Well, 4 times 5 is 20. And if I make the 5 a negative 5, I get 4 times negative 5 is minus 20, and 4 plus a negative 5 gives me negative 1. So the answer is plus 4 and minus 5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these two together. Here's a group of 2, and there's a group of 2. What is common in each of those two groups? Well, I can say that this is equal to x times. What's common here would be a 2x, and I'm left with an x plus 2. And here I can factor out a minus 5, and I'm left with an x plus 2. Now, from these two terms right here, I can see that an x plus 2 is common. So I can say this is written as x times x plus 2, and I'm left with a 2x minus 5. So what I've done now is I've taken my numerator, and I've factored it to make it look like this. Which means I can take this problem right here and rewrite it as follows. I can write the numerator now in my factored form. So this is equal to x times x plus 2 times 2x minus 5. 
And of course, that's divided by x plus 2. But notice now that in the numerator, I have an x plus 2. In the denominator, I have an x plus 2. Since this is multiplied here, I can then divide the x plus 2 and the x plus 2. And I'm left with an x times a 2x minus 5, which should be the very same result that we got when we did the longhand division. And here we have 2x squared minus 5x, which can be factored to be x times 2x minus 5. And you get the same result. So you can see that. We can either do this by longhand division, or we can do that by factoring the numerator and then dividing the denominator into the numerator like this. And that's how that's done.